Welcome to this video series on SQL Server 2008. This is being brought to you by LearningComputer.com. Today we will be uh, talking about database mail and how to configure it. Uh, you can use database mail to essentially do proactive database management and uh, the best case would be if you're running jobs and you need to be notified on success, failure or just completion. Uh, you could use the database mail. You could also possibly use it to um, send information from queries or, or stored procedures to uh, somebody using this. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I am running a enterprise eval edition of SQL Server 2008 on uh, Vista Home Premium. So the first thing you need to do is go to Start, All Programs, SQL Server 2008 and then Management Studio. Uh, I am running uh, two different uh, instances so I will connect to my named instance here using my Windows authentication. Uh, the database mail is available under the Management tab so I will expand that and uh, I have not configured it uh, yet on this uh, instance so I will right click on database mail and select configure database mail. This will start a wizard which will guide you through setting up uh, mail account and profile also the mail security and any of the other parameters. I will uh, click next So uh, when you run this the first time, you have to uh, select set up database ma mail wizard, uh, database mail by performing the follow. For now, I will just click next. In fact, I'm sorry, that's this is the feature that uh, I was looking for. So it's asking me, uh, database mail feature is not available. Would you like to enable this feature? And you want to say yes. And so for my profile, uh, essentially a uh, mail profile um, is a collection of uh, mail accounts so for this one I'm going to call it SQL agent profile because remember your database mail works with uh, SQL agent which is the service responsible for uh, managing jobs and schedules description I will just call it profile we don't have a SMTP account associated with this so I will go ahead and click add and now uh, this would be um, let's say mail account and this is where you would uh, define the actual email address that you will use so for this one uh, I'm going to use SQL agent at learning computer.com um, for the name you can just call it SQL agent reply email I will skip this is where I will need to set up my mail server and for me uh, this happens to be mail.learningcomputer.com with the port uh, which is typically 25 mine is using 587 Uh, for the username, I had uh, set this up. So this would just be your email and then the actual uh, password. Notice that if you were using a Windows domain, which is actually preferred, you would be using the Windows authentication and also uh, you can use anonymous so but the one that's preferred is Windows, Windows authentication um, in my case the web server is actually uh, online so I am unable to uh, use that here and I believe that is all I have so I click OK so we have done two things we have created a mail profile up here and then we have created a mail account that is going to be tied to this profile I will click next. Now it's asking that uh, do you want this profile to be public or private? Um, I will just uh, uh, 
we can uh, check that if you want. Uh, and I will uh, select yes and then click next. And so these are some of the other settings that you have. It says how many seconds do you want to wait before you retry send the email. I will just leave those as is and click next. And so that should be it. So let's go ahead and do that. Click close. Now if you right click on it, you could do a send test mail. And I'm going to send it to another account. select yes so it says your email is has been queued for processing you can click OK you can also go to the view database mail log and look at uh, the activity so uh, I will switch back to my web mail and click here to see uh, this would be the true test of if this thing actually worked or not so looks like it did indeed work and it came from the name this instance so we have indeed covered database mail uh, I'm, I only have a few minutes here so I want to show you another uh, feature that if you're putting this in your code, like let's say T-SQL code, how would you send an email? But I may have to uh, cut this uh, short as I'm trying to put this on YouTube and uh, it has to be within uh, 10 minutes. So I'm, let me switch back to Management Studio. And what I have done here is, uh, before I do that, let me show you one more thing. Uh, once you have your uh, database mail configured and if you want to change some of these settings, you can go to manage uh, database mail accounts and profiles and here is where you can actually uh, modify some of these settings maybe you want to change your email address or something to that effect so that's where you would do that um, and also you can uh, change your mail profile also so I wanted to show you that you can uh, click on this uh, icon that says new query and I'm actually going to load up a file that I have already set up and this uses the system stored procedure called SP send mail um, and it says uh, this is the um, format that I'm going to use the profile name actually I think this is not correct so let me go back and look at my profile because this has to match what you have in here so the profile is actually SQL agent profile so I will change that here everything else should be this so I changed that as far as the recipients that's uh, kashi at learningcomputer.com body is where you would uh, give it a specific message and then subject is where uh, you can put in the email subject so let's just parse this real quick and let's go ahead and execute it then it says mail is queued and uh, again you could come back here and look at the um, log to see if uh, this is working. Let's see. Uh, oh, that just uh, showed us the mail process is started. So let me go back to my uh, email account and I will uh, still logged into the same place. There you go. So I just uh, received this email. And it says the reindex database process was completed successfully. So that is the nice thing about using database mail is that you can incorporate this into your TC 